Hey guys, happy Friday. I am so excited. This is the last day of the week and your assignments for today are pretty easy. So that's an awesome way to end the week. So um, on reading, it says, of course, read for 30 minutes yourself to someone else, to a stuffed animal. But you guys have already done the Apple Antonyms page earlier this week. So you really don't have anything to do for reading other than just read. For writing, you're going to go into edu in Education Galaxy. There's a part where you can click My Study Plan, that purple tab that you've been going to for math. If you'll go to that and just find something in writing that you'd like to do, or if there's something that you haven't finished yet from writing throughout the, these past two weeks, then you can finish that up today. For PE, you're going to pick something new from your Drop Everything and Move board and get 60 minutes of physical activity. So yesterday I chose lie on your back and take 10 deep breaths. So today I am going to go outside and play toss and catch with a friend or family member. And I'm going to actually make that friend and family member Zoe because we've been working on playing fetch lately and she loves it. She's probably going to get filthy because it's kind of muddy outside today, but that's okay. She can get a bath. So for math... Um, it says Education Galaxy for 20 minutes under that purple My Study Plan tab. Any math thing that you want. And then you've got your subtraction and time page for today. So if you remember, we did one of these pages. Um, it was either earlier in the week or it was last week. I can't remember. I think it was last week. And today's day is 4-3-2020. So remember, I'm just going to do um, a few of these with you because you should be able to see pretty quickly how you could do the whole page and then I'll post the whole page as an answer key after this. So you can't do from 1 minus 4. If you have only 1, you can't take 4 away from it. You don't have enough for that. Hang on, I think Zoe's trying to come in. Okay, so can't take away four if you only have one. So we need to go next door and borrow, scratch and make it smaller, bring that 10 to my side. So remember, you can't worry yet about the two and the nine. Can't worry about it. We know there's going to be a problem with it, but we're not there yet. So go ahead and do 11 minus four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So you bring your seven down. And now we've got two minus nine. Well, we know we can't do that. So again, we've got to go next door and borrow, scratch and make it smaller, bring that 10 to my side. So now we have 12 minus nine, which is three. And four minus four is zero. We're not gonna write the zero because we wouldn't say we have zero thirty-seven dollars or my mom is zero thirty-seven years old. So we're just gonna leave it at 37. On your next one, you have two zeros, one in the tens place and one in the hundreds place on top, or tens place and ones place on top. So we know we're going to have to go all the way over. So we're going to go all the way over and borrow, scratch and make it smaller, bring that 10 to my side. Now that only gets it to here. Well, we still have to go more. So we got to go next door and borrow, scratch and make it smaller, bring that 10 to my side. So we have 10 minus 4, which is 6. 9 minus 0, you just bring your 9 straight down. And 4 minus 2 is 2. Your third one, this will be the last one I'm going to do with you guys today. We've got 0 minus 6 and we can't do it. So we're going to go next door and we're going to take away from that 1 and turn it into a 0. We're going to give that 10 to this one. Now we have 10 minus 6 is 4. And we can't do 0 minus 8, so we need to go all the way over to the hundreds place. Cross out our 6 and make it a 5. And give that 10 to the tens place. So 10 minus 8 is 2. And 5 minus 2 is 3. So I'll get all the rest of these done. And I'll have them ready for you um, as an answer sheet at the end. Next you've got your time page. So 4, 3, 20, 20. Your name. All right, now on this one, it just wants to know what time is it. So be careful when you are doing these because some of them are going to be a little bit tricky. Like, look at this one down here. Okay, it looks like the hour hand, the shorter one, is pointing at what? Looks like it's pointing at the five. So you might think just by looking at it that it's 550. However, if you look carefully, it's not 550, it hasn't passed the five yet. 
Okay, so if it's not on or past the five, it is not yet five o'clock. Okay, 550, this hand would be way over here because it would be almost six o'clock. So think backwards. If it's almost at the five, that means it's almost five o'clock. So it would be 450. Even though it's far away from the four, it's almost five o'clock. If it was 450 and you asked your mom what time it was, she would probably say, oh, almost five o'clock. So you got to think like that, like real life. Okay, so hour hand, minute hand. It's not yet to the five, so it's four. And we know that the 10 is 50. Okay, so 4, 50. Okay, look at this one. So we've got our short one is the hour hand, our long one is the minutes. So it's not on the 12, but it's also not at the one yet. So it's still 12, and 12 what? Well, if it's on the six, that's a half hour, so that means it's 12, 30. Okay, look at your first one. We have our hour hand, which is the short one. It's pointing almost directly at the nine. And my minute hand is on the one, which means five. Now we wouldn't say nine, five o'clock, would we? No, we'd say nine, oh, five. Okay, so you go ahead and do the rest of these. I will get all of these answers plugged in for you and posted with your answer keys so you can check yourselves. For science, it just says catch up and complete any assignments you haven't done from this week. Uh, make sure for math also that you have done your two squares and your choice board. So you should have four marked off in your choice board by the end of today or by Monday, whatever. Uh, make sure that you're practicing your math flashcards for five minutes each. For social studies, remember you're finishing your create your own business page. Yesterday, I did mine as Zozo and Co. That was going to be for my dog bandanas, and I filled out all my questions at the bottom. I didn't have time yesterday to finish coloring, but I'm going to do that today. Um, and then it says, listen to your favorite piece of music and draw a picture. And why do you like that song? So pick any song that you want to, and you're just going to have a blank piece of paper in front of you. And while you listen to that, I want you guys to just think, you know, just relax and just draw a picture of whatever that song makes you feel. And then at the bottom, just write why you like that song or why that song makes you feel that way. Um, we also need to track our weather for today. If I can find my weather page somewhere. Here we go. All right. So let me pull up my weather app. remember which one I was using. Have I been using the weather channel? I hope so. How did I forget when I've been doing this for a week? Okay, I think it was the weather channel. All right, so today the high is 71 degrees and the low is 45 degrees. It is cloudy. Let's see, scroll down. Today's details. The humidity is 75%. Um, the wind is northeast at 8 miles an hour, so not much wind today. And chance of rain, 30% today. Okay. And this one shows a little bit of sun possibly peeking out with a little bit of rain possible, so I'll add that. All right, and then your last thing on your list for today, language acquisition. It says, tell a family member about the order of your day at school. Use lots of sequencing and transition words to explain your daily routines, to answer questions like, what do you do when you first arrive at school? What do you do next? How do you end the day, etc." So just think like that, kind of walk your parent or a family member through um, what your daily routine looks like, what do you do when you first come in the classroom in the morning. Just kind of walk them through the order of your day. They're not with you all day, every day at school. And this will kind of keep your mind fresh for when we do come back to school and make sure you still know all of our routines. Um, then, you, of course, you can get on Imagine Learning. And that is it, guys. We have officially wrapped up our last day of these two weeks. Um, I hope that this wasn't too much for you. I hope you enjoyed having something to do. And I also hope that if there were any issues or anything like that, that you'll be honest and that you'll just bring those to my attention 
so I can help you guys. I want to make sure that you're getting everything you need through this time, and I can't do that if I don't know what you need during this time. So I'm just doing the best I can um, at guessing. So hopefully that was helpful, and if there's anything more you need from me, then I hope you will let me know. Bye!